Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're working on Plan With Me and we are working on Monday, January 14th through Sunday, January 20th. Today is the 20th. I'm hoping to get this video up for you guys today. I was planning on filming it yesterday, but my furnace decided to break. So that was fun. I do have heat now, everything's good. I am replacing my furnace, totally. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen my stories yesterday, but I'm getting a full replacement and that's happening this upcoming Tuesday, I believe. So it was just really, really expensive and it was very, very adulty. Um, but my furnace was over 17 years old, so it was definitely time. It actually only cost me like, I wanna say a couple hundred dollars more to replace the whole thing versus fix every problem with it. So I'd much rather do that because it comes with some warranties and guarantees and things like that. So anyway, that was fun yesterday. <laughs> but also yesterday was Doyle's birthday. So I am gonna be using um, some Sheba washi and I think I'm gonna use this little like black and white one. I pulled out some orange ones too. Um, these are all from my shop if you're interested. But um, Let's talk about the planner right away. I know a lot of you guys watch these all the time, but some people are new. So I use the seven by nine Erin Condren Life Planner. I got the gold coil and the hardbound cover this year. However, I did get, um, it comes with like a little thing here. Um, I did get another plastic cover too, just so I could like, I don't know, use it for other things, but. Anyway, and then also I got the colorful version. I did this washi myself. Um, I did the colorful version and yeah. So uh, we are working on this day, or this day, no, this week. And uh, yeah, we're gonna just get going with this. I'm gonna grab my little thing. This is also an Erin Condren thing. It's a, it's a bookmark, but I use it to cut washi because it just makes my life easier. And where does this start? Cool. It's so funny, I've had this washi for like the longest time and I have never used it. So I figured it would be good because it's Doyle, or it was Doyle's birthday yesterday on the 19th and he turned 12 years old. He is an old, old man, that little Doyle dog. He's kind of funny. So he had a lot of visitors yesterday because I had a lot of appointments yesterday um, with people coming into the house and checking on the furnace and everything. So he actually really enjoyed his day. Oh gosh, and now he's sitting at the front door because he thinks it's time to go out and it's like not even 9 a.m. y'all. So I don't, I don't know. It's like when I'm downstairs, he's like, oh, it's time, it's time to go. It's clearly not time to go. He just wants to demand things. Yeah, so isn't this such cute little Shiba Washi? So much fun. Okay, so let's put in my work. And then I actually got my hair done this week too. And all that good stuff. So let's put in some work. Um, I have this Washi, which I think is really cute. It's just like little, X's, like little black and white X's. I don't know. Thought that would be <clears throat> kind of fun with the Shiba situation. And I always tend to write down my work schedule on a little sticky note over here because I have a flex schedule, so I just, I never know when I show up. <laughs> and there's some days that I'm like, oh, I have to go in early because I got to finish this project or whatever. And then there's some days where I'm just like, eh, I'll show up at 8.30, it's fine. Actually, Thursday, I started at 8.45, but that's because I had a doctor's appointment and I actually worked at home um, instead of going into the office, so yeah. And then some days I work really late and, you know, just kind of depends. But yeah, Wednesday, I was only there until 2.30 because I had a hair appointment at three, so yeah. I was actually able to get in to see my hair gal way earlier than I thought I would. I sent her a message at the beginning of January and I'm like, hey, you know, let me know when you have time in your schedule. And I know like she's the owner of the salon, so she kind of books up pretty fast, but she had one random day and I'm like, I'll take it. <laughs> so that worked out pretty good. All right, and then Thursday, put that in. And then Friday, 7.45 to 4.45, but I'll just, I don't know, whatever. Cool. 
Yay, work. All right, so let me grab my work things that I need. I should have pulled all this out before, but I clearly didn't, so whoopsie doopsie. I think I'm gonna use these black ones, but then I keep forgetting to use these um, scripted words that are like some of my favorite things to use, like work. Ta-da! Oh, here, let's use that one. Here we go. We're gonna use this one instead, because, you know, good stuff. All right, so let me pull out five of these. I just think these look so cute together. And uh, these are all from Coffee Break Planner. I do have a discount code down below if y'all are interested in checking out her stuff. It's a matte removable paper and it's one of my favorites. So just, just FYI of how it works. So yeah, I really like the Coffee Break Planner paper. Um, if you like matte paper, you're gonna like this a lot. And I, I love that it's removable too because y'all know your girl screws up all the time on these plan with me's. So if I need to, um, you know, lift something up or whatever, it's just so much easier than, uh, you know, ruining your paper, so yeah. All right, so there is that. And then Doyle had a nail trim. Um, so we're gonna put that in, but I think I'm gonna look and see. I have this huge dining table here, but like I never have enough room. I am going to um, pull a couple of other things here. All right, I'm gonna use this from um, Chrissy Ann Designs. And use up my last little Doyle dog. These are Doyle dogs too, but they're like the black and tan version of Doyle dogs. So cute. All right, so I actually have to take Doyle because he's so ornery. I have to take him to the vet to get his nails trimmed. Um, so we did that at, I have, we had an appointment at 7.15 on Tuesday. I'm gonna use these. I actually got these at Michael's like years and years ago. They probably still have them. Um, so I'm gonna put a little black paw here too because, you know, he like screams a bloody murder when we go there, but he just, he just doesn't like it. He just doesn't like it. So I wish I could actually trim his nails myself, but that's not happening. <laughs> it's been 12 years. It's still not happening. All right, then on Wednesday, I actually just saw this. These are the Chrissy Ann Design stickers for Michaels. And um, I have this one that says hair appointment. So duh, why don't I use it, right? And um, so I had my hair appointment at three o'clock on Wednesday. And we did three o'clock p.m. Oh, I guess I wrote 3 p.m. right there, whatever but aren't these cool little stickers? So cute. I think I'm gonna use um, this as well because these are so cute and why the heck not, right? Ta-da! All right. So that is done. And then also I had a doctor's appointment on Thursday, so let's use the doctor's appointment one as well. All right, and that was at 7.45 a.m and we had to do some like blood draws and medical checks and things. So that's what that one was. And then we'll use this like little stethoscope too. And then that's why I worked from home because I um, sometimes will have to go back and do another blood draw later on in the day, depending on my like lab results and stuff. So I just stay at home because my clinic is really, really close to where I live and I live pretty far away, um, you know, from where I work. All right, and then we are going to use, I think I have like a little work from home thing in here, but I gotta find it. I know I have it in here. Been like consistently, <laughs> not on purpose, been consistently working from home like once a week pretty regularly. <laughs> That's not something I normally would do, but it's just like weird circumstances have come up and I've had to work from home. So anyway, at least I have the ability to do that. All right, these are from Plan to Plan Sticker Co. And I'm just gonna put in this little gal working from home. And then after work, I ran to Target this day. And this is 
Mare Bear Crafts. I don't know, I got this years and years ago, but still love it. All right, and I have these cute little stickers that are actually of Doyle, sticking his little tongue out at me. And I got these um, from erincondren.com. You can like, you know, customize it where all these stickers are different or they're all the same. So I got them all the same. So, I should put in Doyle's stinky little birthday here, like this. And I used last week, it was my birthday, and I used this sheet from Christiane Designs. This is from that Celebrations uh, collection binder. And I figured Doyle turns 12, so we can put in his candles for 12. Ta-da! So cute. And we'll put in some little birthday planner Steve's, because why not, right? Ta-da! And then for the fun stuff. <laughs> well, first thing, let's do some laundry because I did laundry all day. So let's put in some laundry. Here we go. Grab an orange one. All right, so I put in furnace down here, but I'm gonna use one of these. Let's see, it's the two year anniversary favorites from Once More With Love. And uh, let's see here. I think we're gonna use this Ugg <laughs> little person. This is cute because it kind of, that's kind of how I felt. <laughs> so what happened was in the morning I woke up and I was like, gosh, it's really cold in here. I'm like, huh. So went took Doyle on a walk and came back and looked at the thermostat and it was down to like 54 degrees. And I usually keep my house at 62. Like that just feels good to me. And I was like, what the heck is going on? So turn the thermostat on, turn the thermostat off. I was like, what is happening here? Finally, it like turned back on, but then it was just blowing air. It wasn't hot air, it was just like, you know, room temperature air. I'm like, what the heck is happening over here? So at that point, I was like, I should call. So I called like a 24 hour emergency place that actually happened to be the um, same place that my parents have used for their home. And I'm like, you know, I don't know what's going on. Can you have somebody come out? And they're like, absolutely not a problem. So um, I had the first technician come out and just assess what the problem was. Um, and his name was Nathan. So I'm gonna put that in here. And he basically told me that, you know, the repairs, like the minimum repairs would be like $1,500 and the maximum repairs to fix everything then would be like, I think he said $2,900 um, if I wanted to fix the unit completely um, and all that stuff. But new units started at about $3,000. So he's like, well, you know, is that something you'd be interested in? Are you really interested in just repairing? And I said, you know what, for the cost difference, I'd rather just replace the whole unit. My unit is, um, you know, more than 17 years old and the national average, at least in the US, is about 12 years is how long they last. Some last like 40 and some last like two, but whatever. So then I had a guy named Bill come out at two o'clock and explained everything to me and we have set it up where I am getting a new furnace on Tuesday. So I will be um, working from home on Tuesday as well. See, I'm gonna like, Keep it going, I guess, right? Just keep keep working from home. <laughs> I'm gonna use one of these well shit stickers. Um, unfortunately, this shop is not in business anymore and hasn't been in quite a while. And um, but you know what? This is perfect for this day, right? <laughs> and then I called my mom to commiserate on home ownership. So that was fun. <laughs> She's like, "Way to adults!" I'm like, "I know, right?" <laughs> So anyway, today I am filming my plan with me this morning. I will just put it in like right about here. I will edit at some point, um, but I'm not totally sure. And then this morning I did a little bit more um, decluttering. So I'm gonna put that right up here. Actually, you know what? Nope, I feel like, I feel like it would be better if I put this inside one of these. I don't know why, I just really like the way that that looks so much better than just on its own. Do you agree? I 
think that's so cute. So anyway, that is my week so far. Um, I will probably put in whatever I do tonight, but I am planning on just enjoying my relaxing day and editing this video for you guys. And oh, I forgot to say, okay. So tomorrow, the 21st, is when tickets go on sale for the general ticketing for Go Wild. It's in Vegas this year. I will link the information down below where you can find it. So I am gonna be going. I hope I meet some of you guys there. I'm so, so excited. I know some of you had sent me messages saying that you're coming for the first time or planning on coming for the first time. So I'm so, so excited to meet you all. So if y'all are interested, feel free to check that out. Tickets are limited, so um, I am anticipating them selling out fairly fast. So I hope to meet as many of you that I can find there. If you see me, feel free to come up and say hello. I don't know what you look like, so hopefully you know what I look like from all the Instagrams and Facebooks and videos that I've done over the years. But if you see me, come say hi. We'll take a selfie. Selfie, we'll chat for a little bit and I hope that you all decide to come if that's something that you're interested in I went for the first time last year and I had so so much fun I actually went completely by myself didn't have a roommate nothing but I still had a blast and then this year it's gonna be in Vegas which will be so much fun I am very very excited about that and yeah I hope to see you all there so again the link uh, will be down below for you guys for the information as to how to snag your own ticket on Monday and I believe don't quote me on this but I believe that the tickets go on sale at 1 p.m. It's either like 1 p.m. or noon Central Standard Time. I don't know for sure, I'm sorry. I wish I knew. Um, so yeah, well that's it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and all of my ranting about my stupid furnace, but whatever, it's gonna get taken care of and happy 12th birthday to Mr. Doyle. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. All the links will be down below to all the shops that I can find and I will talk to y'all in the next video. Bye guys. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to my baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah.